welcome to Pamela's Creations. I'm Pam. I have some finished objects. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> So, I come on here to do, show you some finished objects, and I need uh, some help figuring something out about this beautiful hank of yarn. I have two of them. It's pretty. So, I want to make my mom something with this yarn. Um, I don't know what to make. Um, she's not really a shawl or poncho person. Um, it's that Peruvian Highline wool, Highland wool, 328 yards. And since I have two hanks, I really want to make her something with this for Christmas. So, um, I need some advice on this. I don't have a uh, cake winder or a swift. I don't have any of that. So, advice. Um, do I, I need to invest in a cake winder? I've never dealt with Hanks before um, to work with this. Or do I just try and search on YouTube for it? Um, if anybody knows, let me know in the comments. It's just really pretty, isn't it? I just love this yarn. But I really want to make my mom something with this for Christmas. Um, it's beautiful. And I think she'd like it. You know. So. Advice on this. Okay, so I have some finished objects here, and um, first I'm going to show you a couple of these hats I made. Crystal Bego Day pattern, and I just made an extra row. I'm making, I'm going to make, I need to make four more hats. I got two done, two done, and I'm going to give them to my grandbabies. There's three of them there, and then my daughters and son-in-law's nieces. I would like to make them some hats, and I just use the Caron Simply Soft up here and the Red Heart Super Saver right here, there. And then I just made the curly cues and sewed them on there. And this color, of course, is pumpkin on both. Very easy stitch, very easy to follow. It was like, she okay, you do this, and then I just turned off the video. I was like, okay, easy peasy. So I did that. And I made my daughter, um, my middle child, this hat. And I got this yarn from a swap I did with um, Madonna Ballard. And these are cable stitches. So, uh, let's see, right here, cable stitch. And you start with the bottom and you go up. And then you decrease on the top. This pattern, um, I'll have to find it and I'll link it in the comments. I'll pin it in the comments down below. But one second, I'll show you the yarn I used. One second. Okay, I'm back. So I used um, Pink Camo, Red Heart, Super Saver. And I have enough... To make, I'm going to make her some gloves, and um, I have enough to make one of the gloves, and then I'll just have to break into this one here and make another glove. So there's that. So yeah, can't remember who did this pattern, but my daughter doesn't like um, full hats. She likes the bun hat. Uh, if you do know how to do cable stitches, then it's 
pretty simple. Um, for some reason, when I do cable stitches, I seem to lose count every time. Every time. So, yeah. It's, once you get the hang of it, then it's, it's easy. And um, she works, she has to go across the street to work out, uh, to go outside. And um, literally her job's like right there from her house. So, but sometimes it's in the evening time and I want to make sure she has some warm things and I'll be making her gloves and she's not a fan of scarves, but I wish she would. I wish she let me make her one. So yeah, I'm going to be working on gloves. That'll be my next finished object. And I made a hat. Okay, so I did this last night and this is using Mainstay White, uh, Pumpkin Orange and mainstay yellow this is the rest of the yellow i had so i went and bought some red heart yellow and i planned on making my granddaughter uh just a little cute um poncho with the hat and this she says this is a child side hat now this looks like it fit my 16 year old so i'm gonna have to either i'm crocheting really loose or something this house this hat looks huge and i can't remember who did the pattern on this one but i that will be in the comments pinned as well um i'll put that down below but yeah i don't know this <laughs> this hat looks big it says it's for a child and i was trying to make her something i think i'm just gonna follow i'm gonna do it again i'm gonna follow the pattern again and then i'm just gonna go down a hook side because i used an eye hook for this so, there's that. And um, I want to make her a poncho in these colors uh, so I can get pictures of her and put it up because I'm going to be having a website up soon. So, I want to get pictures of this with the poncho. Okay. My next thing is I had a little white left over from something else and I wanted to make this little guy. Very easy. This is a magic ring, and then the granny square on the bottom. And this is using Mainstay White. Just, I was bored one evening, and I thought, I just want to do something easy and quick. Now, embroidery is not my thing, guys, at all. Just not. <laughs> but, I actually, this, this one's not as bad. So... I need to go up on my, I'm going to put them on my shelf back here. See my little reindeer? Okay. Oh, that was Jaden's stitches, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. Next one, I was bored another evening, or just evening night, and I thought something simple, something quick. Candy corn guy. Jaden stitches. Mainstay white. Pumpkin red heart. And mainstay yellow. Do I have a thing for candy corns? Hmm, maybe. Jaden and stitches. And um, French knots for the eyes. And somewhat of embroidery of the mouth. That he just got this. Hmm, I don't care. Attitude. So I did that. And I made this little guy. Um, I was trying to think. So this is a paid for pattern and I will um, link that down below. I go to off the Etsy shop and this was a crochet along that um, is there Pixie Marie Creations had. That I won the giveaway on this today. So, this was a crochet along on her uh, Facebook group, and I made Rosie the silly spider instead of uh, velcroing the uh, what do you call that? Either doing the eyes or I didn't do a mouth, but I just glued some silly goofy wobbly eyes on there uh, with a hot glue gun. It saved me a few minutes and. 
I was being kind of lazy, so I wanted to get it done. So that is my silly spider. I thought that was cute. And then one more here is this guy. Now, I can't remember his name, but this pattern has a, has a small one and then a, a large one together. So it's, and I've made the small one, and so in my next video, I will put a large one on there. Um, paid for pattern, same lady that had this spider, and, um, yeah, the eyes are a little crooked, and I was kind of in a hurry when I did it, but the pattern has the small one and the large one, so, and I've, I only made the small one so far, but I will make the large one too, and I will show that in my next video. Very simple. I just, if I would have paid, I should just slow down a little bit. But, yeah. There he is. And I use green, Caron Simply Soft, and then um, Red Heart with Love on the brown. And it has a little sparkle in it. And then the pumpkin Red Heart. And this was used with uh, red heart with love, black with sparkles. My spider. So yeah, all my amigurumis are there. I haven't decided if I'm going to take a break from doing those or not. Um, yeah. <laughs> Cause I think I need to work on some other things. I'm trying to get the hats done. I have made some more stitch markers, some more earrings. I sold a couple earrings. Thank you to my my aunt. Oh, bless your heart. I wish you were watching this. Um, I am very grateful for you. Um, what else do I have? Oh, the purple, the purple Hank. Um, yeah, if you guys have any ideas about that, I would greatly appreciate it. So that would help me out. Um, unless I have to invest in a cake, a uh, winder, ball winder. And a swift thing. Um, I want to really, really, really make her something special out of this. Um, yeah. Uh, my mom. We haven't been that close in many years. And I, I want to show her the tutorial my on my stitch markers. Because I don't use the eye pins. Uh, sometimes I do if I'm in a hurry, but I also use, and I don't have it right here with me, is, um, just, a wire, um, it's on a roll, and then I take it off and I, I do it all on that. Um, cut the wire and, and make it that way. So, and then I, and then I make an eye pen. I want to do a video on so that. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to attempt to learn how to do my own patterns or uh make my own patterns and um write them but that's going to be a struggle for me but i would like to learn how to do that too so i got a lot going on i'm trying someone's helping me with a website i gotta get my coffee guys um let's see what else i have someone helping me with a website um, to get my stuff out there. I have, um, a bracelet I'm making. I'll be making. I just gotta yeah, get the stuff I don't it. know. I got a lot of things going on in my head that I am trying to say and I can't get it out. Um, yeah, so I made stitch markers. I'm gonna be going over the way I make stitch markers. I like the way these ones turned out. I have some skeleton heads that I gotta finish up, and I sold a couple earrings already, um, and those will be going up on my website. So once I get my website up and running, um, I will link that in in the descri description box. I put it on my channel um, and advertise it a little more. So yeah, that's a working in progress. Like I said, I have someone help me with that. I have a lot going on. I'm trying to get make make my stuff, make my jewelry, make my stitch markers, um, 
new ways, new tech patterns for my stitch markers. I want to do a question and answer thing. Um, I'm going to set something up for that. Um, I just got 400 million things going on. Hang on. Guys, I got this at Michael's. I don't know, a couple weeks ago. It was like $12, $13. And I had like a 50%, 60% coupon. I just want to get the whole set now. So, Pumpkin Spice Creamer and Maxwell House Coffee. It's the bomb diggity, guys. Bomb diggity. Well, I bored you all enough. I just need to get everything written down in a planner. Um, you know, what I'm going to be doing and tutorial on my stitch marker patterns that I'm trying to do. Um, I'm going to be making memory, uh, memory bracelets, um, uh, for the holidays. They're going to have like some reds and greens and some like aqua blues and it's going to have, um, a dangling, um, icicle on it charm and Guys, I love beads. Yarn and beads, man. Yarn and beads. <laughs> so, oh, I feel like I'm rambling, rambling, rambling. But I thought I'd get on here for a little bit and um, discuss the stuff I made and the, the knit crate yarn that I want to do with. Oh, yes. And I have a giveaway going on. Three people. Um, yeah, just stashing. Uh, make sure your More cakes that. total and then two of these I'm giving away. This uh, Burnett Homemaker. And then two of these. Okay. And the other one's way over there. <laughs> the other um, cake I'm giving away. But this one, I didn't think I named it. It's called Sugar Plum. Sugar Plum. So I'm giving two of these away, two of the Burnett and two of the other cakes. One second. There we go. Yeah, and two of these. So three people. And that this one, just in case I didn't mention it because I can't remember. It's called, it's called Caramel Me Away. Yeah. So I have them nicely over here. So that... I'm doing or, that. Just, if you guys, oh yes, subscribers, 440. Yay, I had 441 and then it dropped. So that's okay. I don't care. 440, guys, 440. So I'm going to do a giveaway at 500 and I'm going to pick five people. Five. Yes, five. So um, if you want to get on that, I just, it's going to be, oh, with the yarn, I'm giving away also, each person will receive a measuring tape, three of them. So I have three of these. Um, the 500 uh, subscriber giveaway is going to be five people picked. I really want to do that, but it's not going to be, it's going to be a few skeins of yarn, probably measuring tape. A little notebook and one of my stitch markers that I make because I can't send a bunch of yarn to five people but I can do a couple smaller um, giveaways um, tell me what you guys think about that I mean I don't know if, if that's a good idea or should I just do one giveaway and put and put a bunch in a box um, but I gotta get to 500 first um, that's my goal so let's let's get there you know just tell people about me uh, so yeah, so I'm going to let you all go and, um, I'm going to, uh, uh, I'll edit, <sighs> if I could just speak right, I'm going to edit this video and then I'm going to put it out there. If I could just talk right. <laughs> anyway, so yes, um, I will let you guys go. Um, thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Um, if you, you can hit the like button, um, if you could share me around, um, that'd be great. And, um, yeah, so 
I will t talk to you all later. I'm going to have another video out. Um, giving update on some things I'm going to be doing. I just need to get it all together because I've been crocheting and making jewelry. I'm just trying to, uh, yeah. This video has gone way, way too long. I will get off here and stop boring you guys. <laughs> all right, guys. So I will talk to you all later.